What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jaren, and here we are with another episode of the Otaku Podcast. With me today, we have Ankit. Yo, yo. We got the boy, Young Bowie. Yay, what's going on, guys? And we got the sexy and suave, Ricardo. Hey, guys. Damn, you both got intros and I was just like, Ankit. <laughs> <laughs> You're just yeah. that basic I'm so- friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just that basic friend. No, Ankit, you know what I said. No, no. All right, whatever. So color fry, Ankit is our tech guy. He's the one that does all the setting up and everything. Yeah, so Ricardo, hype him up. To Ankit. Shout out to Ankizzle. Can I just be, you know how there's... We're gonna do that Star Wars shit later. Yeah, yo, you know Akbar? Akbar? Yeah, you know, just be General Akbar. Uh, uh, something, something. I don't know. No. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a Jedi though. Fuck you. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Sith Lord. <laughs> I got cookies. But today we're no, we, but Darth Bowie sounds tough though. Darth, yeah, does. <laughs> right? uh, Darth, Darth Bowie does sound Darth pretty tough. Bowie. Darth Bowie. But yeah, we we have a couple new things to talk about today in fact we have a couple we're actually talking about conventions today we have two conventions that we're gonna be talking about towards the end but before that let's just talk a little bit about anime yo can i just say three words one punch man like there's a hyphen in the middle of that shut up you know <laughs> you know damn well what i mean it, it, is, it is three words <laughs> don't, don't try to correct me there's a hyphen in there. Shut up there is. <laughs> see uh, there, 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 is, is. There, there is there is there is a hyphen but it's still three words like in normal no, no. life shut up man but yeah this anime uh slash manga has been out for for a very very well not a long time but yeah for, it's for, interesting it's, because it was like a web comic first yeah and then they were like oh this is interesting people are liking it you want to put it in our actual like uh lineup and shit? manga it's not shown in jump though no isn't it korean base no 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 it's, it's, it's a japanese it's based. a japanese base. it's then? in a japanese magazine now but it's not shown in jump but like he still does the story, which is like a revamp of the webcomic one he does. Yeah. But somebody else draws it for him. But mm. it, it, it. Which is why the art style is completely. It's <laughs> so <like> different. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it blew up. It's in episode six, and there's already having predictions on how it's going to beat the predecessors of uh, Attack on Titan and also Sword Art Online. So I, I think it's actually possible for it to do that. Just yeah. saying. Can I, I don't follow the hype of Attack on Titan. I think that yeah, it's a boring series. Well, look, Sword Art, I understand. Sword Art, if it I beats Sword Art, I'm going to be shocked. But Attack on Titan, dude, Naruto could beat that. Well, Naruto beats Sword Art, in my opinion. Well, I mean, we, we, we could say that all we want, but Attack, Attack, on Titan. Attack on Titan still was, like, you know, really popular. You know, when you That's see amazing. people wearing Scout. Uh, uniforms in the hood you know you know <laughs> you right. made it <laughs> well, can i just say something about one punch man i promised myself i wouldn't watch anime series until it's over watch episode one and i watch episode two and then i watch episode three <laughs> and then i caught up and then i was like i kind of want to know what happens next right so then i start reading manga and now now i'm caught up to like everything well there's only six episodes out right now yeah i, ca- I watched all six episodes i read all 80 something chapters oh my god <laughs> like Oh, I'm caught up. no life. Uh, but what? I, <laughs> There's something called uh, the John <laughs> where you sit down and you're on the phone. <laughs> it's true. That uh, yeah, that takes a lot. A lot of my smash time has been on the John. Smash Bros. Super Smash Brothers. I had to make sure I corrected everyone. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, er, <laughs> that, was, that, was <laughs> that was a that was a good save, Jared. Um, but like everyone's been saying, like it's just six episodes, and I'm only on episode four, so don't spoil anything. Ooh. I mean, uh, the series is not going to be long. It's one of the shorter ones yeah. on the side. It's like thirteen, I think, in the end. Really? And um, you said there's like eighty something chapters in the in the Japanese magazine version. The web comic version goes up to like a hundred something. Yeah. So if and then there's a spinoff too. I think One Punch Man uh, something. I forgot. I'm not sure. Yeah, there, I think there is a spinoff for that. And there's a bunch of like little short comics too. Like I saw one when he was like fighting Vegeta. Oh, that had me. Yeah. That had me dying because Vegeta took his number down. But then Bulma called his ass. He'd be like, "Get your ass home and get some dinner." And he's like, "I right, yo, but like yo, Satima, like fight me at some other time." And he's just a really good character. Like the character development is, he's funny. He's funny, but he looks so plain. But he's the most OP character like you've ever seen. That's always so funny when you see him like do his OP thing. His face, like the animation on his face, just changes. And it's yeah, just like it's like, sh- <laughs> it's like <laughs> see, I was watching with my friend, and we were watching the series, and I was like, "Wow, it's like they use all the money on the action scene, but then yeah. when it comes to his face, they kind of like, yeah, we just saved like a couple dollars right there." 
It's like he has the most plain look on his face, but the action sequence is just great. Madhouse did a great job. That's why it's so funny because like everybody in that universe is just like, who the, f- who is this guy? Yeah. Like, he's like a nobody. Yeah. But then when they fight him, they're just like, oh my God, I can't or, keep or up. The people that do fight him don't exist anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one punch, man. He's a legend that's never been told. <laughs> Everyone dies. Pretty much. Yeah. But I for every anime I watch, everyone dies. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. That sees that um sequence of animes where just everyone just died. Like uh let's see. I forget the name. Um A Kamega Kill. That's you know, that's know. still on my back burner too. You haven't watched it yet? I have it all downloaded. It's gonna I still gotta watch it. You're gonna cry. Like you're just gonna cry. Literally. Like if you if you don't if you don't don't get emotionally attached to anybody, you never know. I'm not gonna tell you who dies. Bro, have you seen Anohana? Is it? Hold on. See, the, that was my problem with Attack of the Titans. I couldn't connect with any of the characters because as soon as they're introduced, they're gone. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, true. Like, like, oh, like, hey, I, could, like I couldn't connect with anybody besides like the main characters, and I didn't like the main characters to begin with. Facts. Huh? Wait, it's said Mi- Misika. Uh, yeah, I guess. Like, because if I'm was, saying like, the name wrong, just correct me later on. What? <laughs> but like but like legit though like i couldn't i didn't like it because like you couldn't really connect with any of the characters because like as soon as they showed up they were like out i never passed episode two wait i just want to wait oh what what was the name of the anime you just said anohana is that the one with the little girl yes a little girl that's not that doesn't exist she died yeah yeah you want me to cry I cried so hard watching that Damn, shit. Damn, guys. Like, yo, so oh my yeah. God. Yo, right? spoiled. Yo, like, wow, I, man. I didn't even watch it yet. He just told well, me about okay, this. I know, like, I know. 10 I, minutes actually, ago. Actually, she's dead. yeah, oh, you, okay. you, you, you find it like the first episode, she's dead. But I didn't even yeah, watch still, episode yeah, one. <laughs> I, I didn't know about the series until like just 10 minutes ago. Nah, but like. You'll just, just like when you recommended Charlotte to me. You didn't tell me shit about it. I just got to watch it. Yeah, no, but you'll, no, I'm just going <laughs> to let you know you're going to cry throughout the entire series. Yeah, that's fine. But like, he just was like. Yeah, you guys just straight up spoiled <laughs> everything for me. Like the first episode, I could just go into episode two now. Go ahead. Yeah, you could. That's, that's a shame. Two. You guys are the terrible. Most important episodes of last episode. Man, my mind is not going to be blown in <laughs> this yeah, next. Yeah, I'm going to be watching the first. Well, episode. Let me uh, like, spoil One Punch Man episode that. five for you. So what happens? Does he punch is, someone? No, he no, doesn't. He actually doesn't. Is I think I saw part of it already though. Yeah, you probably saw clips of it like on Facebook and social media because yeah. everybody took like the uh, like the first sequence after the opening credit yeah. and put it everywhere because yeah. it was a funny scene. That was a uh, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I saw that part. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, well since we're a spoiler, uh, do, you, do we want to say it? Like, it's a spoiler podcast, right? All right, go ahead. Let's it do was, it. It was just like him uh, doing the hero association test and him like just <laughs> showing how OP he is. <laughs> You know what? The one thing I like, I hope they like they they're probably gonna do because like the broad explanation they give about his power is really dumb. Yeah, and the fact that his training method is also like so basic. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like he's just like, what was it? He's like, I did a hundred push-ups, a hundred squats, squats, and run five kilometers or ten kilometers. I think it was ten kilometers or, meters or some shit. So I don't know. Like every 5, single meters. day. Yeah, I'm just and then like I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> because like even like other characters like it's just basic training oh, what the fuck <laughs> he, oh he had a hundred setups too it's like yeah he, he, every single day didn't matter when but every single but in the anime you'd never really see him like actually do it like, yeah, because he's op now he's like he doesn't need to yeah do it he's anymore. like he's like this is when he first started out yeah. as a hero but doesn't don't you need to well, maintain if you if you keep on like you know later on they'll explain why like he stopped training and everything oh, okay so all right, yeah. I mean, this, but yeah, I, I actually do want to rewatch uh, Ohana. There's a new anime coming out by the same the team that made Anohana. It's called The Anthem of the Heart. It makes me sound like I'm going to cry with that, too. Just because of the word heart. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a watch when it comes out. Oh, my God. No. But uh, make sure to have your tissue box next to you. Damn, Ricardo already predicted that this is going to make me cry. Great. But, like, all these animes that are good, you know, it makes me want to think back to some of our older animes when we used to watch. You know, there was an anime that was, like, a brother for Naruto when it first came out. Yeah, I'm talking about Bleach. You remember when Bleach first came out? I remember first reading about that Bleach. Was, uh, that was a terrible segue. Shut but up. Like, uh, I, know, I know what you're talking about. I hate you. <laughs> like, I'm trying here, okay? <laughs> but, like, I remember when I was reading Shonen Jump in high school, and then they were giving previews about Bleach, and I was like... 
what's this anime? And then, like, they came up with, like, a little short uh, portion of it, like, the first chapter of Bleach. And I was like, oh, this is going to be really good. This is going to be amazing. And then I got it, and I read it, and I was reading for a very long time. And I was like, this is such a good series. Like, people, like, we had the conflict between, like, the Shinigami and the ninjas. And you're just like, nah, the Shinigamis are going to win. We're going to do this. We have so many epic powers. It's such a good series. And then, like, it just stopped. It became very repetitive. It became, like, like they made Ichigo the most broken character in, like, any series I've ever seen possible. Like, how are you going to have a character that's literally every power? Literally. Well, I mean, it's like it's like uh, what the thing behind Shonen Jump is. It's like Dragon Ball Z thing. Like, uh, Toriyama wanted to end the series. They told him to continue because it's a cash cow. But isn't is Bleach still making as much cash as it used to? No, no that's the no, thing. That's no. why no. that's why they announced Never. it as the last arc. Never. And no. and like as you can see, <laughs> like it, at first it was obviously yeah it was like, making at first it was like you know bucks. really popular and yeah. it was you know people were buying replica swords and all that jizz. But like then uh, after all the uh, other arcs, like yeah. then it started going down. Yeah. They did. Uh, what was it like after that whole Eisen thing? Uh, no. Like even during the Eisen thing, yeah. everybody like the series went down. Uh, to be Eisen... honest with you, it really went down with all those fillers. Yeah. Those well, fil- that's the anime. Uh, are we talking about the anime? We're talking about in general. We're talking about, about, in, general. Uh, in, general. We're talking about like, in general. In general, popularity right. fell. To me, it fell due to all those fillers. The series, like manga wise, it went down because of the. It wasn't like, fillers. There's a, it's a it was, lack storyline. Yeah. To Not be only with lack you. is like. Every fight that happened in that like manga like went for a couple of chapters, and then it was yeah. done. Yeah, and then like and that, which is like you know how a fight is supposed yeah. to be supposed to go like that, but like some of the fights were like not entertaining at all. And then it was just like okay, cool, and then like it would go on to like a little story and back to like a different fight, and it's just like you know you want story building in there, but it's not there, which is why like the story sucks in this universe. Uh, the so, main like, the main part where it like died off for me was after Eisen was defeated. And then the whole full bring thing happened. After that was that. actually a good arc. I didn't, to to be just, honest with you, uh, I was reading an article and saying that everyone's saying like full bringer arc was better than the last couple of arcs because it was like people they think um, rescuing Rukia was the best one. Yeah, and then uh, was it uh, when the Zambaktos uh, came to life? Oh, and the, 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 that's, that's a filler, a filler one. A filler one. But and I think, then I think the Wolverine the arc was actually no, pretty they didn't good. make a canon. No, they didn't. Uh, they never uh, made right it. now in the manga is basically saying they're canon. Yeah, that's what's that's what's happening. Yeah, right now. really. Yeah, yeah. Kind, it's like it's weird it's because weird. uh, those characters that you saw in the fillers. They're now in the manga. No, but that's their original design. The character, yeah, the yeah. Artist made, but, but like, they they. They mentioned something. I, I was kind of just skimming through those new chapters. Yeah, I think they, they mentioned mention something about like, that arc yeah. in the manga. That's weird and totally unacceptable because yeah. it's supposed to be different <laughs> universes. Yeah. Like, I understand if the character designs are there because, you know, the creator probably designed, like, you know, designed it. Yeah. But, like, if they if they actually cross over, that's terrible. Yeah. But, like, uh, the only reason why I didn't like the Fullbringer arc was because I was I was content with the fact, I'm like, Ichigo lost his powers, he saved Rukia, Aizen's defeated. I'm like, okay, what else can they do? And they were like, nah, we ain't done yet. And then he had, like, the whole, like... Gang stabbed with a sword infused with, uh... Yeah, but I'm talking about... I thought that was cool, though. That, that, was, that was cool, but I'm talking about the thing he had before when his, um... His, oh, the racist thing. Yeah, the, the um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it made, like, a... The, the, um. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to say it. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah, yeah, that, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like it made a swastika when it was coming out. Uh, like, yeah, he that's was how like, the chapter ended. Like you just saw that symbol coming out. You're like, what is that? <laughs> I was like, what are you gonna use? And then he like <laughs> threw it, and you're just like, what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm like, I'm like yo, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, you're like, oh, okay, that's a that's a cool power, bro. But like, yeah, um, I don't know. I agree with like uh, like the most consensus like Bowie says he saw online. Like, I would have been content if the series ended with them saving Rookie. Yeah, the like, yeah. He wanted Bankai. Cool. That should just be his final form. Yeah, we didn't got... need to go to, like, Hollow Ichigo or Final Form Ichigo. Like, those were just... It wasn't even that it was OP, but it was just... It took so long to build up. True. Yeah. Like, I didn't like, enjoy it. I would have been okay if they just, like, 
If the whole it didn't end with the whole Eisen thing, but like, or if it did, but like they ended it right there instead of dragging it on for like three hundred chapters. Yeah. Like, if it just ended there, like, yeah, it would be a short series, but like, hey, some oh. series are good as short. Like, you don't need to be long to be like, you know, a great series. Yeah, just something real quick. Um, the I just wanted to talk about his fi- not his final form, but um, the form he had when he um absorbed Getsuga. Oh, what? the one where he turns into like a ninja. Yeah, yeah the, that's the final form. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the that is the that's final the form. That's that's form, the yeah. that's yeah. true yeah. final form. That's that's yeah. a, that's my favorite form. I mean, I I'm still trying to get the figure, yeah, it, but it's, it's sold out. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb though, because for the fact that's not even Ichigo anymore. Like he transformed into his like. Yeah, his <laughs> I'm just like, what the? F- I forgot <laughs> what I. I'm like, st- I won't lie. I'm still reading Bleach right now, but I'm actually lost in the current, current manga, manga yeah. because I think uh, what's what's his uh, Sanbakuto's name like Sangetsu? I think he's actually the captain of the Quincy. Yeah, some something like that. Yeah, the well, um, it looks like him. It's, it's no, it's, it's like connected I, to him somehow. It's you. What was it? You watch yeah, or something? Yum, yeah, yum, whatever his name is. But young chomp. Watch, 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 something like that. But um, uh. Zangetsu, the the figure that's like in his mind is actually that guy. Yeah. And you know how every Quincy is supposed to have like a part of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that that's his part, and um, his hollow form is actually his real Zanpakuto, and um, it's supposed to be like you you watch. It's supposed to be like like decreasing his ability to like get tap further into his ability because um he doesn't want him to get too strong mm-hmm. and so like i think uh zangetsu was even saying he was just like yeah i've been i've been suppressing your powers for this time period but like i don't want to do that anymore and um th- yeah it, it is actually yeah, it, really it's confusing it's very terrible it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's very it's, terrible it's, it's, it's a awful. terrible it series <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure i i messed that up completely in some part or another somebody's gonna be like huh, well, that's not what he actually said but like it's it's similar to what's actually i haven't see, read bleach i'm like see i read like every single chapter but i don't even read it like i like speed skim i like, look I at go, the like, pictures yeah, essentially that's what and I'm if doing you're too. my favorite character i'll probably read that panel <laughs> like that's all that happened. Like that's what I do too now because the story is so stupid now. I'm just like, oh, that's awesome artwork. Cool, cool. <laughs> I just keep on going. Oh, cool. it's really good. This is really good. You guys, Very nice detail. You guys do it real big. Yeah. Yep. Because like, like uh, this week's chapter spoilers or last week's chapter spoilers was like you find out like uh, the new captain head division. What's his name? Yeah. Um, uh, Kyoraku. Yeah. His, the, the one with the flower. The flower yeah, the and flower the iPad, the iPad yeah. right now. It's not even his bankai. I was just like, yeah, what? Yeah, because his true bankai was his, like, uh, second in commands, like, mom or, or something, something like, like that. That's what, like. I was like, oh, okay, okay so <laughs> you're telling me this series has been out for, like, almost 15 years, and you're telling me his that's, that's not his sword? What? They're still coming out with new, like, new remember shit. When, <laughs> remember when the series started and they first revealed their Shikai and he turns the two swords? It's like. That's a rare Zanbakuto. The original captain's like, that's rare. Only two people have it. Him and uh, the other captain that's always sick. Yeah. And then you're just like... The and dude then that you was always dying. And then, yeah. And then 15 years later, you're just like... That's not what. That's yeah. not mine at all. Yeah. Nah. It's not his at all. It's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. He, he got it. <laughs> and I was just like, what? <laughs> and you know what? I think the dude that's always dying is actually dead. He's like the Soul King's like... Um, something. something. He's, yeah, he's like part of the Soul Society now. Yeah. He's like... Heart of, of the soaking, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what about Ichigo's dad? Yo, weirdest thing ever. Like, he's helps him beat Aizen, and uh, uh, all she wrote, <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Uh, like, he just never, and he's supposed to be one of the str- he was a captain, yeah, he was one of the strongest captains, even those uh, visor, vi- visor, where are they at? No, they're there, see, but they're still that, butt. Oh, they're then, still, and, they're and, still because, butt. and because you find out his real name, you're like, oh, okay, finally, they finally. Admitted that Ichigo is related to the Shiba family. Yeah, I'm just like, really? yeah, I, was like I guess it I'm took them only a few that years, because huh? I don't remember that. No, I remember when they it. did the backstory for his dad, and they're like, his. Oh uh, no, you know what? I remember now. Yeah, yeah. What a terrible series. Yeah, yeah. Like, what a it's terrible so series. Bad. I'm so sorry to like, all the I'm hardcore like, Bleach I'm fans. Like, bro, like, they were like carbon copies of each other. I'm yeah. like, how are you gonna be like, <laughs> like, um, yeah. <laughs> Even Byakuga, when the series started, and uh, the sick captain was always just like, 
yo, who is that guy? He's like, he's not related to him at all. Like, Ten years later. Oh, <laughs> uh, that guy. They're related. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Fucked up. So guys, <laughs> well, I don't think they still know that. To watch or read Bleach at all? I recommend you watching the first arc, the last arc, and then you can pick and choose your favorite filler. Like just re- just watch or read three arcs. Don't, don't I recommend spend your time? I recommend at all. like going online, finding a guide of saying where certain stuff end. Yeah, read up to the Soul Society, find out wherever the Eisen thing is, and then go straight to uh, Full Bring, and then uh, wait for the rest of the series yeah. to end, and then read the ending. I'm currently <laughs> waiting for the rest of the seasons, the series to end, so I can actually watch it. I I don't know when that's gonna be because they were just like it's like the author is not even trying at this point. They were just I like I mean I don't think he wanted to even like do the arc. This is a catch cow because think about it like uh, Shonen Jump does it for the money, but like they were probably like yo your series is doing bad, make this the last arc. Mm-hmm. I hope and this then, is the last. And arc. this arc has been going on for ages. Yeah, it's been what two it's years like now. As, no, this is long as um One Piece uh Dressel Rosa arc. Yeah, that, 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 that was that like three was like years, a year and a half to two years. Yeah, it was like it was long as shit. Damn. And like, at first everybody liked the arc too, and it was like, oh man, it's so good. And then it went by so slow that everybody just started losing interest and like they were like, can this arc be fucking that's over? Because, that's because Japan always has like golden week. Like the funny part week. is though, <laughs> funny part is though, One Piece is still their number one. Yeah. Even with how bad, like the how slow and bad the arc was. Well, it wasn't bad, but it was like really slow. Slow, very and slow. Like, very slow arc. and uh, like it still did, it's still number Amazing. one. Amazing. It's still, it's still, oh my god. Because that's because the author of One Piece knows how to hype up luffy while as for bleach he doesn't hype up ichigo at all i saw ichigo get his power back like 30 chapters ago and he's been running and running not only that like running see that's the difference between the two characters because the main character in bleach gets a super powerful op like buff and then wins no problem in one piece luffy gets a buff he will lose once in a while but it's all about nakama (laughs) Hey. <laughs> right. And if he does win, he barely wins at that. So it's more balanced. Yeah, and like, and like I mean, Ichigo does barely win sometimes too. But if he barely wins, or like if he does win, he needs help of other people. Yeah, Ichigo usually does it by himself. Oh, like, where's Chad? <laughs> or somebody? Oh, I know where Chad is. Yo, he's running, <laughs> <laughs> running with. I mean, Ichigo then again, right actually, you know, everything I just said, throw that out the window because, like, Bleach does the same shit too. When you think about it, I guess it's just One Piece just does it in a more appealing way. I guess because Man, I, I haven't, I haven't Bleach, read One Piece. I, you know why? It's because uh, One Piece <laughs> has that comedy factor in it. Yeah, that comedy is a really big part. Like, if if everything's too serious, it just because Naruto has comedy in it too, and yeah. so does uh, uh, One Punch Man. Is a see, lot of comedy. No, the thing is. One uh, one piece for me, it's not, it's not that funny. It's not that funny, honest. but they put the right amount of comedy in there. I think it's more the art, the expression. Because to be honest, Bleach, yeah, they have some expression, but you get so lost in the dialogue, you don't look at those expression. Like it's weird. Like One Piece, I could actually keep up with and enjoy a lot. Yeah, it's because like even because right, I'll, yeah. I'll agree with that. It's not really comedy, but like it is. It is comedy and expression. Mm-hmm. Because in Bleach, everybody's too fucking serious all the damn time. Like their faces just like well, they're they're dying like right now. <laughs> they're just like too like yeah yeah. But even when nothing's happening, like the series started out kind of funny. Yeah, like, with like yeah. a light humor side, and mm-hmm. then it just went straight fucking like too. Like too serious, <laughs> super extremes, and then got like emo shit. But like we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> yeah. another time. That's like every series. Yeah. <laughs> every series has those dark corners. Nah, man. All right, can I try and do my segue again? Yeah, yeah gonna, go for you're, it. Let's transition. Let's see. Let's hear. It. Let's hear it. Let's see the next one. All right. So since we're talking about depressing and dark animes, oh, wow. <laughs> let's talk about Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> I'm trying, right? Is, did that work out? No, that was, was a little terrible. better. No. Was a little better. I let it fall on purpose. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> that, was a, that was a little better than the one before, though. I tried too hard the first time. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. But uh, Tokyo Ghoul. For those of you who have been watching, we had season one and season two, which is completely different from the manga. But we're, we're coming out with season three. Season three is going to be scheduled. Anyone know the release date for season three? It's oh. just announced for the year of 2016. Yeah, 16. Yeah. My guess is probably going to be summer or fall. Yeah, because right now, uh, season three essentially is going to be Tokyo Go Ray, Ray, 
R E. Yeah. Uh, that's only on fifty two chapters right now, so that's not a lot of material. So I want to say it's gonna be probably summer or fall, like you said. And you know what? Since it's kind of a well, when the last two seasons come out, it was always around uh, fall, yeah, right? I don't remember. I don't remember when they came out, but like. I just remember season one, and I was just like, they were like, season two, and everyone was like, whoa, season two, and then you watch season two, and you're just like, oh, okay. You know, I still gotta watch season two, but does it really stray that far away from the manga? Not really, not so, oh, uh, no. It yeah, does. it does. It does, it does. It, yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. how, I remember how the <laughs> second half that, went, yeah. It's like, it does. It's, so they did like a full Metal Alchemist, the original one, kinda. where yeah. like, yeah. the first half yeah. like followed the story, and then. The second half, they're like, yo, whatever, let's just do us. Pretty much. It pretty much ended the same way, essentially, and, but everything else is just completely different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's like a couple of key parts in it that stick with the manga, but other than that, no, it was just all completely different. Okay. I, I, I gotta still watch season two. Yeah, you still gotta watch it. Dude. I was don't, still, don't get I would, me wrong. I would say read and watch it at the same time. Cause, well, not at the same time, cause then, but like you get two different you perspectives of it. Time. I did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, regret I, it. Yeah, I regret it. I regret it. Yeah. Like, you, you, I well, then why would I do it if you regret it? <laughs> so you can share, share a struggle, y'all. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Keep yourself busy. But overall, that series actually, it's a, it's good. I uh, see. It's, it's a weird. It's weird mainly because it doesn't have the same hype as uh, the other ones come, uh, the other ones that are out right now. But it's still a really good series just to like watch and read, like. It it has its own certain fan base. Yeah, it's not as big as like uh, yeah. Sword Arts or like Attack on Titans or it's even, getting there though. You uh, or even One Punch Man. Yeah, this one is like a slowly built up yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Unlike the ones that like instantly got popular for some like, weird boom. reason. Yeah. Well, I think Attack on Titan got popular because of all the death. Like Attack on Titan is stupid. It's just it was just a lot of death. Like the first in the first episode, like his mom gets eaten. Like that's. I remember, like, when I actually enjoyed that scene. That I because when I watched it, that was the first anime that it's like, hey, look, there's a nice family. Then all of a sudden, a giant creature picked up the mom, and you actually see him eat her. Like, like, like savage, wow, too. Savage, like, see, that's the like, same thing with like One Punch Man. <laughs> like, when you look online, nobody ever really talked about One Punch Man too much. Anime comes out, now everybody be talking about it. Yeah, we had friends that been talking for about One Punch Man for. God knows how. Yeah, long. it was all Rich and Anke and, and then Derek, uh, yeah. Derek and, and then uh, Gabe, Gabe yeah. and then it all led up to today. It's like yeah. wow. So and then the I, worst part is I read the series way back too, and you only guys, up to like chapter like ten or something, and then I was just like, I stopped reading it. And, and then, you guys kept telling me like, you guys should watch, you should watch One Punch Man or read One Punch Man. I'm just like, or read it. We always tell yeah. people to read it, and I was just like, eh. but I didn't, I didn't go back to reading it until like the anime started again. Yeah. But it's still it's no the one I recommend. Me and Rich always recommend them. Nobody reads is the Breaker. Oh yeah, Breaker. I, I don't know why because it's not a manga. It's Korean. Uh, manga. Yeah, that's the Korean one that you guys were talking about. It's so good, but nobody wants to read it. I mean, I'll watch it at I some point. Read. I'll read it at some point. It's never going to turn into anime because it's Korean. Okay, I mean, I'll read it at some point. Like you know, life is because uh, Korean manga is weird. Can I just say that because like uh, they break it up into seasons. They have seasons. Yeah, like uh, so like. Because they released theirs on web comics, like they're not released in the comics, like actual books or anything. I think, so they will release it online, and then they'll be like, "All right, we're done with season one, which is just like part one essentially." Yeah. And then they'll do like season two, which is part two or whatever, which is why I'm like, "That's weird." <laughs> All we do in our series is we just keep on going until it ends. It's, well, Japan, that's how they do it. Yeah, that's that's what we're used to. Because the breaker has three parts right now. It has the first one, which is like seventy something chapters. Uh huh. The second part, which is two hundred chapters, and then part three didn't even start yet. Oh, that's a big jump from seventy-seven yeah. to two hundred. And, and I can I also say the Arthur's like part one was supposed to be only be like thirty, forty chapters, and then it, he ended up doubling it. And he's like the second part was only supposed to be hundred chapters, ended up doubling it. And I was like, and he's like the third part was supposed to be the longest, and I was just like, don't double that one, bro. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna double it. <laughs> go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. Um. It's definitely worth a read, though. I recommend you read it. Like, there's a bunch of good Korean mangas that people don't read. Are we? We're not gonna tell them where to read it from, isn't it? Like, no. Okay, just making sure because we'd be like, hey, we could check this site out, but like, we're not gonna do that. Well, for Korea, we can because like we you can't really. Well, it's on free web sites. The comics. Oh, okay, so we can post a link for that. Yeah, we can post a link for that one. 
but everything else, go to your nearest Barnes and Noble and go buy that. Yeah, well, you can subscribe to a certain website. Like Crunchyroll or Crunchyroll like has a manga service. Uh, uh, Shonen you know, Jump, you can sign up for theirs Shonen online. Shonen Jump, yeah. Viz Media, like yeah, you you can always yeah, but get the a Korean, subscription. But the Korean ones are but free. The Korean ones, that's that's a different. Yeah, one, yeah. but the, most of them are free anyways online. You just got to find somebody that like translates it. Yeah. Okay. Help me, I can't read Korean. Translate it for me. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Um, in other news, we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Super. Wait, coming. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why was that transition so simple? Like, this is, you, you're about to mention Dragon Ball Super. That's like everyone's childhood, like, anime, and you just transitioned it like it was nothing. I was literally about to hype it up right before. But, but like, okay, like, oh, okay, continue then. Let's let's start all over. Well, you, what's the next topic, Jaren? All right, the next topic we're going to have is um, uh, Dragon Ball Z Super is coming to Toonami Asia in mid-2016. Now, we've all seen Dragon Ball Z. No, I haven't. What? Of course you have. Don't, Silence. Yeah, don't you lie to me. Okay, so yeah, we all seen it. All right, we we've all seen it, and the fact that it's coming to Toonami Asia in mid twenty sixteen means that it may finally come to our Toonami, probably not by twenty sixteen, but maybe twenty seventeen. <laughs> not that excited for it anymore. <laughs> no, I think it'll be out at twenty sixteen for one reason, because Resurrection F was done so quick in the hand of like dubbing wise. <laughs> But that was a movie. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. It was a. Actually, was no. It? Actually, no. Dragon Ball Super is actually going to get a lot of hype soon too. Well, it's already hyped up. Because like, like how well the movie did, I wouldn't be surprised if they're like dubbing it right now. How well did the movie do? It broke records. Yeah. It did, right? Yeah, yeah, it broke records for like the like most like sales for an anime movie. And uh, have we all seen the movie? I have. Yes, I have. Yeah, I have. I went to theaters for that. You, you did, right? Yep. Was uh, it? It was good. Like yeah. you, you saw, right? It was good. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was like. Well, it wasn't like uh, was a Battle of the Gods. Battle but... of the Gods was just crazy. No, I. I actually oh, enjoyed Resurrection F more yeah, than I, I, Battle I, I of did. the Gods, but it's just I, there's some I'll parts in Resurrection F that I was just like, how, when, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, but apparently Super is going to show you like how the in between. Uh, well, it's See. like in a weird like. Yeah, it's an it's a bridge between Battle of the Gods and um, Resurrection F, but it's just in a different take, though. See, the only thing I didn't like about Resurrection F was some of the stupid like choices they made, like story wise, like uh, oh, if I just train for two months, I can be completely OP. Yeah, I was like that was kind of retarded. But I, uh, you know what, I I don't want to spoil it. I mean, this is spoiler time. Oh, OK. Like, so, so, yeah, no. Spoiler alert. And again, if you haven't noticed, there was a lot of spoilers in this podcast. Yeah, so. there really yeah, has we, been. I'll input that. Don't worry. But uh, <laughs> but uh, no, alert. it's I understand the whole training for two months thing because Frieza's like he stated in the movie, he never trained in his life and he See, achieved final form. So imagine if he actually did put in the effort. And even though it was a short time. Putting in the effort does make you stronger, though. Yeah, I know, but like it was like that two month thing that's what got to me, and the fact that they made a plot hole of like just being like, oh, he never trained. <laughs> 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 when you put it that way, yeah. Like, but, like that's how they introduced his new power. He never trained before. That's that's the that that's what their excuse was, and then he only needed two months because for some reason two months for Frieza is like nothing. So if I go to the gym and start like lifting weight for two months, you're gonna be you're gone. gonna be, you're gonna be swole, dude. You're and gonna be as strong only, as a guy. And not only that, and then there was like, and they're like, and just from training, I was able to achieve a new form. Just like I was like, wow, like just for two months, yeah. His new form isn't even like that. It's just he went super saiyan. That's basically yeah. So the super, this is what annoyed me too. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. I was like, get the f- uh, out of here. <laughs> uh, but they, they, they changed, changed it. it. They yeah, changed in the it. new Dragon Ball uh, Super manga. Uh, it's just Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, because uh, Whis, I think that's his name. No, Goku was saying the form, the name of the form, and he bit his tongue, I think. Yeah. Then Whis the- was like, why don't we just call it Super Saiyan Blue? And it's <laughs> like, blue. Because I wonder where you got that color from. <laughs> because like when you hear it in the Japanese version, I was just like, oh, my God. 
please change the name. It's like Super Saiyan no God, no Super Saiyan. No. <laughs> I was just like, what it's the like, fuck? Wow, wow. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I learned a lot. Thanks. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like, yeah, I'll kind of just say in the um, the start of Resurrection F, like Gohan has always been like one of my favorite characters. And they just made him seem like the biggest tool in the world. Frieza, first form after training, comes down out of his spaceship and just fucks up Gohan. Like, straight up one punch, Gohan's out. Everyone was like, oh, see, see, oh I feel shit. like no one paid attention to the movie, though. <laughs> Gohan hasn't fought in years. And he's going to school, getting an education. That still doesn't change the fact that he still has the power in him. That does because he hasn't unlocked that potential again. Because that power, think of it as like you know you haven't used it in a while. It's like say a skill you but, have, but, right? But my dude can still go Super Saiyan too. It's not like he lost that. Actually, didn't his ultimate form kind of lock that though? Yeah, but in, didn't God's Among no. Us he turned yeah, back into Super much. Saiyan? God Among Us Gohan. is not. I mean, not God Among Us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Battle of the Gods. To, I'll go Super Saiyan too. Yeah, his, it was stronger than Super Saiyan too, right? With his uh, ultimate form, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he just had a bad memory and experience with Frieza. <laughs> That's it. You know, as a kid, he got tortured <laughs> no, 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 by no, no, Frieza. No. He did lose power. I'm not gonna uh, like, yeah, argue that. Yeah, he did lose because power because they made that argument in the Buu Saga too when he was fighting uh, Gabor. Uh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Vegeta yeah. brought it's, that up. It's like the Great Saiyan Saga. It's like he took time away from training and fighting. Yeah, see, Goku's always strong because that dude always trains. He leaves but his family even, to but go like, train. But like, even though he lost Where's like some power. Ever? He shouldn't have yeah, lost, he that, not lost like that, that much. much. Yeah. That he would lose Or the maybe it's form. because of that yeah. track suit he wore in the movie. That track suit was, was terrible. So bad. He's like, I'll like give him represented this one. by Adidas. Because I'll give Gohan like enough credit to be like not to lose the base form Frieza. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, he should like, have that, lost that was like that. Dumb. that was embarrassing. Yeah, he got he got rocked. <laughs> but then everyone did get scared because you know Frieza was like one of the strongest. Oh. It wasn't the strongest they fought. Boo was. Yeah, Boo was. Boo yeah, was supposed to be like the strongest. Now. Like, um, who's been canon? What do you Boo's mean now? Canon? Yeah, Boo's been canon. Uh, I thought I thought it was supposed to end it at Cell Saga. They want the art. The author wanted to end it at Cell Saga, but Shonen Jump probably told him to continue. Yeah, yeah. I guess they yeah. made Boo. Boo. Yeah, Boo's been canon. But um, what? I freeze just had. Where did Frieza have all those people in that ship though? They've been flying around. Yeah, they were yeah, just like they, uh, they were just flying around Earth. Frieza is a big empire. His, yeah, he's his empire remember, is huge. Boo was locked up, so Frieza wasn't even OP anymore. No, I mean the, in that one ship that he brought to Earth. Oh, they brought multiple ships. Oh, they just brought one. Was it maybe one big one? Maybe they just all crammed into it. <laughs> but like, I, it, I don't know. They were just pouring out of that ship. I was just like, what the hell? Remember, he had an empire. When they probably found out he was alive, they were all like, let's go back because we can get rocked if we don't. Yeah. <laughs> that um, that empire, because I forgot he had the empire. And then that random guy was just like, let's wish freeze it back, bro. That was the weirdest. That was another plot thing. I'm like, so they just went and collected Dragon Balls and was just like, yo, Frieza. <laughs> If I was a like a Z fighter or like I was a Z fighter in the group, I would be like, we should just have all the all the Dragon Balls and keep them in a safe location, just so no one wishes them or wishes on them or anything. Or like that. don't even have them all together. Have each Z fighter hold on to one. Yeah. Oh, that's smarter. <laughs> sure, not to give one to Jamsha. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh my god. Dude. Oh yeah, that dude's so weak. <laughs> is that what? Because the, like the whole problem is if you give all seven of them to like and leave them in one area. If the person I, gets I, to it, I think it, um, in Resurrection F, they made fun of him, too. Yeah, they're they, like, they, Yamcha, they're too strong for you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> wow. Wow. We're going to go with that, huh? Yamcha, yeah, Yamcha wasn't even fighting. Tien was, but Yamcha, was, Yamcha wasn't there. Remember when he was decent in Dragon Ball? <laughs> like, when, up until uh, Yo, we'll the Saiyan Saga. This. Up until the Saiyan Saga, he was okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got beat by To be Saga. honest with you, I love Yamcha. He had a cool character design. He had an awesome signature move, Wolf Fang Fist. I don't know why he became the Aquaman of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, yeah, he lost the fight, but you gotta remember, so did Tien, Chao Su, and like that, that whole second tier where, Z fighter. Where is Chao Su? <laughs> Dead or on Nappa's back. That was the, that was oh. his, that was his last fight too. That's why he stopped fighting. Yeah, but we don't even see him anymore. Like, did he grow? No, is no, he, he did. You see him once in a while, but he just a couple times. Yeah, really? Yeah, he what just doesn't do Chao anything. Tzu? He doesn't do anything because Tien's like, you stay here. And then yeah, they go off. So Mr. Tien. Mr. Tien. Mr. Wait, Tien. what is Chao Tzu? 
I don't know. Is Did it he, a boy? Is I think it he's a fairy. Alien? Is it? Pretty sure it's a fairy. I think he's based off of those. Uh, I forget what it was. Like those Japanese things that you use tie up onto string for rain or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I Parades. think he's like. No, I forget what they're called. But like, I think he was like supposed to be based off of that or something. It's not Terry Sherbazi, is it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think, that's, I think okay. that's what it is. I think that's why like he was supposed to be based off of that and like a doll or whatever. You know, did they use like black magic to bring him to life or something? Because I have <laughs> no idea what's a Chao Tzu. Like, he he he's been the same age since like for Saiyan real, Saga. For real, this is fucking right circles. <laughs> but yeah, no, super super. Um, from what I heard. It's going to be a good long series, too. I'm not liking it so much right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm I a took a peek at it through uh, Funimation, and it's, it's okay. The first couple, like, to be honest with you, it's a Dragon Ball Z series. And what do Dragon that, that's Ball Z the problem. do? They dragged that, out That's my lot. problem with it. Because that's why I like Kai. They got rid of all that, and it was just, like, straight to the point. Like, you know, they took all the filler nonsense and all the dragging parts dragging on parts which is why like this series was like cut down like 150 to 200 episodes yep and then you watch this and you're just like man they're going back to their roots and like you know what i'm gonna be this guy i can't really watch dragon ball z in japanese I, oh i can't either. that's why i lo- i can't wait for the english dub but i hope they do like dragon ball super kai and just yeah. cut out all the crap in between like what the japanese didn't do because spoiler it took them literally twelve episodes to do. Basically, they they re did they the re did they remade Battle, Battle of the Gods. Gods. Yeah. It took them twelve episodes. And we're only on episode sixteen. That's why I haven't That's really a huge chunk. I haven't watched much of it because it was just like it's Battle. It's these like, animes are like eighteen to twenty minutes. So if you do that, like that was already like longer than movie. Yeah, like that. Like, like that just sails how much like filler was in between. Like Goku yeah. fought Beerus in Super for like. 10 episodes up in space. Like, it was ridiculous. Uh, what else you got for us, Jaren? Um, Besides that, we're going to get into our convention talk. Uh, we have some conventions coming up at the beginning of next year. Um, there is KaturiCon, which is going to be at Gloucester County College. I haven't looked much into that because, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to attend that. But there are two conventions that two members here are going to well, be going side to. Side note, though. I like that con because we got to chill with Greg Sipes. Oh yeah, that, that <laughs> like, was that was a dope con. Like that he was... just came to our table. He's like, I heard you guys uh, wanted to chill. And for those that don't know who Greg Sipes is, he's Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. He's Beast Boy from Teen Titan, and he does other various characters' voices too, and a lot of your favorite cartoons. Yeah, and he's a really down to earth guy. He's yeah, because yeah. he's a hippie. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's mad chill Straight like we're just gonna say that like i he was mad awesome when he, he sat was, down like yeah. he knew we were like you we were like these guys mm-hmm, look at them they're just sitting at a table like he chilling. just he just came and just chilled with us it was really it was really good but um as far as cons go we have a uh, two in february which are back to back um same location the same way. location four days away from each other literally so uh, that hotel that resort is gonna have to like Yo, and before you can have people re- Requesting like rooms for the whole week. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 pro- they're probably already. That is time. money, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's bucks. Because you're gonna you're gonna be there from if if you're one of those people that come the day before instead of the day of, you're gonna be there from Thursday to the next, not that Monday, but the Monday after. Yeah, or Sunday. Or Sunday. Sunday yeah. yeah. And most people say it's a Sunday. Yeah, but so that's like, that's a lot of money. If you're staying that long, Jesus. Yeah. I'm because the, you're just there for three days doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. There's not much to do once you do everything that's. I mean, I guess DC is like an hour away. Yeah, so you could do that. You you could do that like after the convention is done, but like, that's Man, that's, that's so much money. Yo, do that because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a whole week. Yeah. <laughs> so that's eleven days that you're paying for room. That is way too much. <laughs> yeah. So it's Capticon. Capticon. Well, actually, Macfest is four days, right? Oh uh, yeah, it is right. It's, it's so that thir- means so they have to be there Wednesday. Oh my! And does Magfest happen first? No, it's a catchy card in the Magfest. Okay, no, then that makes sense then. Yeah, but you still waste the money. <laughs> yeah, uh, catchy card is going to be February twelfth to the fourteenth, followed by Magfest, which is going to be. You don't know the date. No, so, uh, add, well, it's the week after. Right? At six. Yeah, <laughs> at, at, at six. I know. I know that, but I just want, I wanted to give them a date, but like, um, 
the thing about KatsuCon that I really like the most, uh, there are panels and workshops that you can go to in like a, a dealer's room. It's like it's like everything that really most conventions have. There's going to be guests, of course. There's a video game room, but like the area around KatsuCon, which I'm sure is the same for MacFest since they're in the same location, is that that freaking gazebo area. In fact, KatsuCon even made its own Twitter account for the gazebo. What? Yeah, I follow it. It's yeah. it's pretty funny. So can I ask a question? Before were they in different places? No, they were in the same yeah, location. They're always in the same location, yeah. just yeah. different so, like, dates. Just fest will be first in yeah. January. Yeah, and then Katsuka will be in February. But yeah, now the, they bump MacFest from January to February. So I just looked at the date. The official date is February eighteenth to twenty one. Twenty first. Twenty first. Twenty first. Twenty one. Yo, it's a long morning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um. Basically, at Katsukan, I don't really do much in the convention, but I do a lot around the convention, if that makes sense. There's lots of photographers around, so for the cosplay community, it's a big place to go and actually get your picture taken at the gazebo, around the gazebo. Um, there's uh, the bottom area, which is like has like this little like rainforest slash townish area. Uh, it's a resort, so there's, there's, there's a lot around. There's the pier. Um... Well, it has the Ferris wheel that turns into a heart during Valentine's Day weekend. Um, I plan on doing a panel at this con. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the panel is yet. I actually have Wait, to see for Magfest? No, for Catacon. Oh. But, um, you did one last year, right? Yeah, yeah, I did one last year. But it was in the middle of the night, so not that many people went. But this year, I plan on doing it at a different time, hopefully. Uh, I think I'm going to do it a little different, actually make an event for it so I can get people to go. But, um... I plan on entering a gaming tournament there, and uh, I'm attending. Is it Smash? Yeah, I'm, I'm entering a Smash tournament there, but I'm attending this year, which is new for me. I haven't attended a con for like years. I'm usually doing a table or something or working at a convention, so just me attending is going to be. I have to. It's a different experience attending. Yeah, after working so many cons before that. Yeah, it's a whole different experience. It's I can't not that do fun. It. Yeah, yeah, I can't it's do not it. That fun. I, the, the main reason why I'm doing it is so I can actually get to. This is a perfect time for me to actually talk to a, a lot of the people at the convention. So, um, if you guys see me, I'm gonna be around. So I'll come around. We'll we'll hash it out. We'll talk. Maybe get dinner. Maybe if you're a special lady, we can go on a Valentine's Day date. Maybe no. All right, that's cool. I mean, I tried. Right. Forever alone. Yeah, that's my life. I got Pokemon. I got six on me at all times. All right, you're good. So, then. yeah, I'm good. You're going to be at the bar. You're going to be that guy at the bar playing Pokemon. I I was. I was last year. And, I, you know, I played Smash, too. This is getting lonely. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Katsukai is, is, is a great experience. I, I, I love the convention area. And I think I have a nice hotel room this year. Last year, I, I had... I had... It was... It was an experience last year. That's all I'm going to say. I've still yet to go to either of these. I would. Mm. It's because the timing is always yeah. off. Like, I don't like it's in the middle of like school, like when it just starts and you're just like, I don't got time for this right now, mm. especially because uh, this week it looks like it's going to happen during the time you're going to have your first exams. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> like, I was just like, well, definitely not going. <laughs> My my class schedule is like it makes it so that I'm able to go. I just hope work is okay with it. My new job. No, yeah. Like I even if I like had time to go without exams and everything, I can't go back and forth between. Oh, uh, like, see, different that's jobs. why I'm only choosing one. Yeah. I can't. I can't do both. Yeah, I'm choosing one. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's a. I know which one he's choosing. <laughs> yeah. I was. Yeah. I was actually contemplating about going to that. I really wanted to go for this year, but like a lot of my my friends are going to be at Katsu, so I was like, okay, I'll I'll go to Katsu this year. But tell us about Macfest. I don't know much about it. You want to know about Macfest? I do. There's nothing to know about Macfest. What 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 is it? Macfest is Macfest. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, one thing you need to know about MacFest is, if you guys know what MacFest is, you guys know this, is... Oh, oh fuck. Oh. It's Colossus, right? Oh. Yeah. Colossus, yeah. That's 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 a big thing. So I need a gas mask? Yeah. Uh, is it, <laughs> it, it, how, is the, how is the BO at MacFest? Because you know most cons, when they're when you're in a gaming room, it's, it's, it's thick. <laughs> um, gas mask? No matter where you go, there's always... Going to be some BO, yeah. Yeah, there's um, always going to be BO, but there's something versus like a, 
a two three hundred person game room versus yeah. a whole convention. <laughs> now, That's a game room. I just want to say real quick, we have no, we have nothing against any game room. We actually are very big into video games. Yeah, um, but like. For God's sake, if you're going to be in a tournament, please learn to use soap water. Or, or, let, let's make it the thing. Any con, no matter what you're doing. Hygiene. Yes. Yeah. Please. I mean, yeah, it's cool you shower. At least throw some deodorant. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's I'm good. <laughs> what? <laughs> but uh, besides that, like, what? What are you planning on entering any tournaments or anything? Uh, not at the moment, no. I'll probably end up joining a Smash tournament. Did yeah. you do that last year? Um, no, I didn't even do it last year. I forgot what I was doing last year. I was pretty much playing every game in existence in that arcade room. Yeah, because their is, arcade room is is, is huge. It's huge and it's you know it's always open. So yeah. you can go like go to sleep, wake up at four in the morning, go to the game room. The difference between the most conventions is, like four in the morning, people are either uh, passed out, yeah, sleeping, yeah, or getting drunk or something. But the game room, it's pretty much not. You don't see people around, so there's no lines or whatsoever, so you can play any game you want. And uh, it's 24 hours, right? Yes. That's so crazy to me, man. One of my favorite things to do to take out the Mac Fest is Tokyo Attack. Uh -huh. They bring pretty much a lot of arcade machines. You have all your rhythm games like Beat Mania, 2DX, Poppin', Technica, Sound Voltex, Jubeat. You get to play all those games at Mac Fest. So if if you're a gamer and you actually want to get involved into you know, those um those step or beat games, uh that would be great. We only have we it's just one area around here that has it, right? What? Uh beat games or any step games. I know there's the game, yeah, you have eight on the break. Eight on the break and uh the other arcades are like not in this area. Does did Yesterday have it? I don't think it Yesterday didn't have uh, it. I don't think No, they had a dance machine in the corner, but like I think it was just one. Well, they got newly renovated, so they might have something. Yeah. But like, as far as we know, eight on the break is always in the place. In Nanuet, that would have them, but they unfortunately they closed down. Yeah. Arcades are a dying breed here. Yeah. Not in Japan though. Yeah, Japan is popping, booming, but like here, struggle. I'm glad eight on the break has been around for so long. Eight on the break would be the best place to go, like around New Jersey. Yeah. For music games. Yeah. Not only that, they have tournaments that are all the time too. Yes, they always have a tournament, fighting game tournament every Tuesday. Um, I think they always do more combat now. I'm pretty sure they're going to do Street Fighter V when that gets. Oh my God, released. that's yeah. <laughs> but um, that's a uh, pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to be at Katsukon. I'll be at Macfest. And uh, are we... I'll probably be at Katori. <laughs> You're, you think you're gonna go to Katori? Probably. I mean, actually, there's no reason for us to go this year, huh? It's not. No, we don't have a table. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, we always have a table. I'm like, this year we won't. Well, even if we do have a table, we're not in charge of it. So. Yeah. And maybe this year I'll be at Anime Boston. I'm not. Hey. I'm out again. I would. We still have to talk about that. I know. In but if you talk about Katori Con, that's in the future. I didn't talk about Katori Khan. No, I, I wasn't saying you can't. I was just saying, that's uh, like. You don't know me. Okay. Just stay tuned for the next episode. Oh, you're right. talk about oh, Dragon Ball, Ball Super. No, 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 no. We're not doing Dragon Ball. But, um, so yeah, this this ha has been another episode of the Otaku Podcast. Uh, thank you guys for joining in. It's been really dope. Uh, it's your boy, Jaren. Uh, Ankit. Bowie. And Ricardo. And tune in next week for another episode. So keep it real and keep it geeky.